Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I'm going to tell you why vitamin B6 is so critical for optimal brain function. Concentrations of vitamin B6 are over a hundred times greater in the brain than in the blood. And that's because B6 is critical for mental function. Severe deficiency of B6 is associated with irritability, depression, poor short-term memory, and even psychosis. Because B6 is required for proper synthesis of serotonin, dopamine, and GABA, three critical neurotransmitters. While B6 is an umbrella term encompassing at least six compounds, the most common and most commonly available forms are pyridoxine hydrochloride and pyridoxal 5-phosphate, or P5P, which is the active form. B6 as P5P is essential for converting 5-HTP into serotonin. People who have a genetic or acquired B6 deficiency produce insufficient amounts of brain serotonin and are often prone to clinical depression, OCD, and other mental problems. As P5P, B6 is also required for the production of dopamine and GABA, so a B6 deficiency, whether genetic or acquired, can result in abnormally low levels of these critical neurotransmitters. And this is why a systemic long-standing B6 deficiency is a definite contributing factor in conditions like ADHD, depression, anxiety, and sleep disorders. If these neurotransmitters remain depressed, this can result in mental disorders that are commonly treated with psychiatric medications like amphetamines, SSRIs, and benzodiazepines. So taking B6 regularly can reduce the need for these medications. Beyond neurotransmitter production, B6 is involved in countless biochemical reactions, so a B6 deficiency can often result in symptoms like insomnia, muscle weakness, difficulty walking, and anxiety. Even though B6 is water-soluble, you can certainly take too much of it, and an overdose of B6 can actually lead to neuropathy, with a loss of sensation in areas of the skin. However, this can be easily resolved by simply reducing your B6 intake. As a supplement, you'll likely find B6 in doses anywhere from 100 milligrams to as much as 500 milligrams per serving, and you'll often see B6 paired with its active form, P5P, as this combination is far more beneficial than just one of the two, especially if you have any existing liver problems, because the liver is what converts regular pyridoxine B6 into P5P. And on this note, you might also want to pair your B6 with some zinc, because zinc is a required cofactor for activating pyridoxine B6 into P5P also. And if you recall all the neurotransmitter activity that B6 supports, then you shouldn't be surprised that depression, aggression, anxiety, epilepsy, and impaired growth are all well-known signs of a zinc deficiency. Can you see the connections here? Riboflavin, which is vitamin B2, and magnesium are also cofactors for optimal B6 absorption. So it's really best to take your B6 alongside magnesium and a full coenzymated B vitamin complex every day. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.